Hi, everybody. Reese Davis with you, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. One of the oldest and most storied rivalries in the South. The third Saturday in October clash between Tennessee and Alabama. Both sides getting loose as we get set for the third Saturday in October. We've done all we can do here. Time to tee it up. Let's send it out to Brad and Kirk for the call. David and I will be with you at halftime. two SEC schools is better known as the third Saturday in October. And now let's head down to the coin toss. It's brought to you by Coke Zero. Real Coca-Cola taste and zero calorie. Enjoy everything. Johnson we'll see how these two teams play in this game as they prepare for the opening kickoff. Johnson fields it at the two. Across the 30. And he's tackled at the 43-yard line. Alabama's coaching staff, the fans, I think everybody's been waiting to see this kid play, and here he is. Well, he's a star quarterback. He seems to bring everything to the table. The crowd, I think, senses he's ready to have a big day. And when your star quarterback feels good playing at home and he gets off to a good start, some big things can happen for this home. And he hits him hard at the 45-yard line. Wright's the kind of guy that's work ethic really pays off. Right now, he's playing some special football and leading the conference statistically. From the 45-yard line, first down. He makes it out to maybe the 43-yard line. Wright picks up two yards with a carry. He's at the 30. It's caught first down, and he's out of bounds. Nice throw to hit the out route against man coverage for a first down. First and 10. Ball on the 31 yard line. Complete. He's got room. And he's taken down at the 25. About four yards away here on third down. Three down, three down. Hey, check Mike 45. Check Mike 45. Here's the kid. Here's the kid. And he throws it away. Alabama is looking to go up by three. Kicks up, and he splits the uprights. Let's go to the studio for this Reese Davis update. Time for a great West Coast clash in the Pac-12. And for Stanford, they've lost two in a row. And for Levine, he had a touchdown reception in this game. Oregon State gets the W by 11. 
in another game. A brief detour to Denton, and for North Texas, they've won two straight. North Texas wins it 38-21. Reese. 3-0 here. Williams has the ball set, and he looks ready to kick this one deep. He'll take it from the two. He's tackled at the 29. The quarterback leads the team out on the field for the first drive. the middle he's tackled right around the 32 yard line here's the pitch and now he's got the corner and down he goes at the 30 well I think it's safe to say the defense had his number on that one it can be very frustrating for a running back when he stopped before he even gets going Third down, nine to go. Ball on their own 30. The intimidation factor is definitely here when you're playing in this stadium. Falling back, complete. They'll bring him down at the 36-yard line. Good possession there for the defense. This is the kind of solid, consistent play you look for in your defense. Let's see if the offense can follow it up. Monroe awaits the snap. He's to the 40. Room around the corner. Not a bad return. A good job on their last drive, getting three. Let's see if they can get some more on this drive. Alabama has a three-point lead. Complete. It's the junior. He's down around the 45-yard line. This passing game can be very effective if you don't get enough pressure on the quarterback. They use their personnel well and can be very tough to defend. First and 10. Ball on the 45. And they make the stop around the 37-yard line. A nice job on the offensive line, and they pick up a gain of eight. at the 20. He gets hit out of bounds at the 18. Super effort by the tailback to pick up a nice gain in a first down. He's really a good looking ball carrier. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 18 yard line. out to his wide and he's tackled at the five-yard line. I'll tell you something. I'm loving this quarterback's confidence more and more as this game goes on. He's really throwing the ball with some purpose. Tackle made at the two-yard line. Second down and goal. Ball on the two. He's taken down at the one yard line. That's good for a gain of two yards. That makes it third and goal. Alabama holds a field goal lead. Touchdown, Crimson Tide. was a very good all-around effort. The running, the blocking, the entire package. A well-deserved score. And he tacks on the extra point. Let's check in with Reese Davis in the studio. Wait till you see what's happening in Raleigh. And for FSU, let's keep an eye on this game where a major surprise could be brewing. North Carolina State leads it 7-0.
in other action. Time to get you up to date on what's going on in San Mateo. And for SMU, they're shooting for their fifth straight win. The Mustangs are on top, 30 to 16. 10 nothing in this one. Williams gets set to kick this one away. Daniels from the two. Tackle at the 21. Alabama's defense looks like it's ready to feed off this crowd all game long. It's like having an extra player out there. It sure is, Brad. They are off to a great start in that opening series. Let's see how they play here. Again, trying to just set the tone here early in this game on this next series. So at the end of one quarter, Alabama leads it 10 0. And we're back for more action here in quarter number two. It was a pretty one-sided first quarter, but I wouldn't be surprised if things changed in a big way before halftime. They bring the quarterback down. Defense looking for another sack in the second down and long situation. They go with the screen here, and the halfback's got it. Tackle around the 15-yard line. I don't know if they'll be able to hear his cadence in the midst of all this mayhem. Throws complete, and he's got space to work. And he's taken down at the 33. Man, that's tough for this defense. They came so close to stopping the conversion, but they'll have to stay out there again now. It's the tailback. And he's tackled after positive yardage. That'll make it second and four. run and he's brought down he gets out to about the 44 yard line first down He's got it with room to run. Knocked out of bounds at the 33-yard line. That makes it first and 10. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 33-yard line. Stevenson gets a carry left side. He makes it out to maybe the 30-yard line. Here's play number 10 on the drive. There are five wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the gun. Pass complete and taken down immediately. So it's fourth down, and the offense is still on the field. They'll spread the field with five wide. He's tackled at the 19. Game of seven on the play. First down. The ball, the ball, the ball, the ball, the ball. Yeah. 
Throws complete and he stopped immediately. Terror brings him down at the 13 yard line. That'll make it second and four. They come out in a five wide set. Makes the grab and gets knocked out of bounds. That makes it first and goal. First down, and they've got their eyes on that goal line. Two down, two down. Hey, check my 33. Check my 33. Touchdown, Tennessee. He just put his eyes on that end zone and ran with some real purpose there. Trying to get within a field goal. They'll try the point after. He makes the PAT. So a 14-play, 78-yard drive, and they get it in for seven. An amazing drive for this offense. Outstanding execution. If you're the defense, you've got to do something to try to change things up to get this quarterback out of center. Patterson has the ball all teed up, and he's ready to kick this one off. And he's tackled at the 28-yard line. With one quarter down, I really haven't seen too much separation between these two squads. Might be neck and neck the whole way. Alabama is up a field goal. Fires quick out to the receiver, and he can't make the grab. That makes it second and ten. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 28-yard line. Throws to the receiver, incomplete. Number nine was the intended receiver on the play. That brings up third and ten. He wants it all. And a great catch. And down he goes at about the 39-yard line. And the big pickup through the air has made it first and ten. Slings it out there incomplete. Number two, the intended receiver on the play. That makes it second and ten. Man left, man left. Four down, four down. Hey, check Mike 45, check Mike 45. Right down. They'll bring him down around the 19-yard line. There you go. Good read by the quarterback to give the offense a new set of downs. If the defense wants to line up and man, work that slant route until they stop it. Alabama is up by three. And a quick throw. And he tackles him hard at the 11. Not a bad little play there. Yeah, this is a nice job by the quarterback reading the coverage and delivering a very catchable ball and allowing his receiver to come up with a nice game. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. He's got it. Touchdown. converts the extra point. So a seven-play, 71-yard drive, and they come away with a touchdown. Brad, I love these kind of drives. They're old-school, grind it out and earn the yards and just rip the heart right out of that defense. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. And he got all of this one. Great kick. 
He's to the 20, and he's taken down at the 22. Boy, this is turning into a shootout here. Now, remember, the last time we saw this offense out in the field, they answered the bell and scored a touchdown. Can they do that now a second time? They did a great job on their last drive, moving the ball down the field for a touchdown. Let's see if they can duplicate that on this drive. <laughs> this offensive coordinator's got to be feeling so good about the execution that he's seeing from his quarterback and his wide receivers. Because, again, they put so much time into trying to put a plan together. And to be able to see that actually come into play makes you feel pretty good as a play call. From their own 22-yard line, second down. Moves up in the pocket, and down he goes. So the sack makes this third and very long. They're one of the loudest crowds in the country, and they are on their feet. Run, 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 run. Tailback brought down for a loss. It's a good surge by the defense. They really disrupted the timing on that play and gave them no chance to get the first. They look like they've got the block on, and this offensive line's got to give him some time. Hendricks takes it at the 47, got the corner, and down he goes at the 31. The quarterback is on his way back onto the field, and he led a great drive last time out. He gets it up, and he got it. It's been a well-fought game as we head to the half. Alabama's got a 13-point lead. We've played 30 minutes. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. David Pollock and I here in the studio to break down everything that just happened in your game. Perhaps the most important statistic in any football game is turnover March. I once had a wise coach tell me that the football was so important they named the game after it. Whatever that means. I think it means that you're not supposed to let it get away from you and give it to the other team. And so far, both of these offenses have done a great job of that. No doubt. And most games are lost, not won. And, and it's because of the turnover differential. And you can look at the stats when you say that every single time. But, you know, both teams doing a good job taking care of it. Both offenses executing and still calling a game, still, still scoring points, still putting up good numbers but at the same time taking care of the pigskin. And they better value that thing because, yeah, you give it away and bad things happen. Just about time to get you back out for the second half. Brad and Kirk will be along in just a second. You're looking forward to keeping an eye on everything around the country here. We've got a good, well, a good game score. We're locked and loaded. We've got all the big screens going. You're going to be looking to hand out some helmet stickers later. We're loaded, man. I'll try. You think you can keep on your shoes in the second half? I'll try to. They stinky? <laughs> yes. Brad and Kirk, you're at a safe distance. Take it away. All right, Reese David, thanks, guys. Just about set to start the third quarter. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. Makes it out to maybe the 19-yard line. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. Makes the catch and look out. He's out to the 30. Brought down at about the 33 yard line. First down. Reset, cut right. Mark six, 33. 33. It's out time. It's out time, guys. It's out time. Caught open field. And they make the stop around the 42 yard line. That makes it second and two. Fires in 
incomplete, knocked away. This guy is mostly used to stop the run, but here he showed that he's not too bad against the pass either. It's third down, and they're about two yards shy of the sticks. They come out on an empty backfield. Got a receiver, and he dropped it. So that'll make it fourth down. Yeah, they just couldn't connect on the pass there. That was a very good stand by this defense. Hendricks takes it to 25. He makes it out to maybe the 36-yard line. It's a new possession for this offense, so what will it hold? Makes it to the 44. That's a game of the game. That makes it second and two. So it's second down and about two yards to go. immediately tackling. He's at the 40. He gets to about the 27 yard line. Got a first and ten. Ball on the 27 yard line. Caught and he's hit immediately. That makes it seven and six. it to the back. They'll drop him for a loss. The defense was playing run all the way right there, and it paid off for him. Third down now. They need to get it to the 17. Taken down at the 14. Quick throw out to the receiver, incomplete. And this play is number eight on the drive. Tackle after a decent run up the gut. They're about four yards away here on third down. Strike to the back and he drops it. Right, the intended receiver on the play. Fourth down. It's up and he's got it. They line up to kick this one away. He sends this one deep. Alabama's continuing to play extremely tough defense. This has been impressive. It's just been impressive to watch them play with such an attitude, almost a chip on their shoulder with the energy that they're playing with. I think it's going to require that kind of effort to be able to win this game. 
Let's see if this drive has a more rewarding conclusion than their last, which ended with a punt. Down two possessions. This offense has to step up and capitalize on this possession. Good outside run there. Makes it to the 41. Gaining 10 yards. First down. Two tights, two tights. Three down, three down. Hey, check my 33. Check my 33. Hey, check 24. And he's taken down around the 49 yard line. That makes it second and two. He gets out to about the 48-yard line. Call it a gain of three yards. That makes it first and ten. Three down, three down. Hey, check my 33. Check my 33. Completes it, but he can't shake the defense. That's a game of seven on the way. That'll bring up second and three. Tackle made to the 31 yard line. First down. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 31 yard line. They'll bring him down for a loss on the play. No big on the play. That makes it second and 10. Throws it in a hurry. Tackle at the 26. Five yards. It's a well-designed play to the halfback, and it worked at least to get them a medium gain on the play. Key 15, key 15. I'm, I'm coming up to you. That's the end of three quarters of play, and this one's a little tighter than the experts thought. 23 to 7, Alabama. We're just about set to start action here again in the fourth quarter. Setting up blockers or running backs. Got it on the screen. And he's tackled at the 17-yard line. Hayes brings him down at the 17-yard line. First down. Mark check, 33. 33. It's been a long day for you. The 10. He's tackled at the 8-yard line. They run the option, and the pitch man will get credit for a 9-yard gain. That brings up second and one. And he's hit before he can go anywhere. That makes it first and goal. Room around the corner. Touchdown, Vols! So the offense is going to go for two. He's got to throw it in a hurry. Caught it, and the conversion is good. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. Johnson's up to return. Johnson takes it at the eight. He makes it out to maybe the 30-yard line. Alabama's a team on a mission right now. Somehow, they have been able to put up 23 unanswered points. 
Things aren't tied, but they might as well be. It's this drive that could really dictate the tone for the last quarter. Alabama up by eight. Wright gets the ball. He's to the 40. He's at midfield. And he's tackled at the 29. And for Wright, that puts him over the 100-yard rushing mark. This kid is just a monster when it comes to picking up stats. And I'm sure the folks who vote on the Heisman will take notice of that. So it's first and ten after the big run. He'll keep it on the ground again. And he carries the ball for a nice game. That makes it second and six. He goes at the 25. That'll make it third and five. Third and five. Ball on the 25. first and goal. That's a great job by both the quarterback and the receiver. The quarterback made a great read and throw, and the receiver split the zone coverage with a beautiful post route. Well done. First down, and they've got their eyes on that goal line. Tennessee will take their first time out of the half. Just inside the five. Second down. Just over two minutes in the game. Got a man open. Touchdown. on the extra point. Reese Davis joins us in the studio with this update. Reese, time for an update from Raleigh. Myrick throttle was stuck on wide open as he barreled into the end zone for a touchdown. The Wolfpack get the victory, 14-0. And for the Crimson Tide, wow, what an opportunity now to move up in the BCS standings, but they've got to win this football game. Williams has his kick team lined up, and he is set to kick this one off. Taken from the three-yard line. Gets to about the 27-yard line. Alabama's defense has been a force to be reckoned with, especially in this game. Well, they have stepped up today. They just seem to be dialed into what this offense is trying to do. Good job against the run. They've been very physical. What I love is how relentless they run to the football. And as the defense comes back out, you can be sure they're thinking about that score they surrendered the last time around. Complete. And he tackles them hard at the 37. Barnett on the tackle at the 37 yard line. That brings up second and one. Darts it to the right. That's incomplete. Too bad that'll go down as an incompletion because he made a really great play on the ball to make the catch. It's third down, and this offense is about three feet away from that first down marker. They're one of the loudest crowds in the country, and they are on their feet. Brought down around the 38-yard line. First down. Just under two to go in the game. Zips it to the tailback incomplete. 
which was his intended receiver in the play. That makes it second and ten. Second down and ten to go. Ball on the 38-yard line. Quarterback all by himself in the backfield with five wideouts. Got it. Complete. He's out of bounds. First down. This is the eighth play of this drive. Mike check 33. 33. Goes quickly and it's almost intercepted. How did he drop that? The defender did everything that he needs to do. He read the play perfectly. He stepped up and what does he do? He drops the interception. Boy, the offense caught a break there. Nearly picked off, but he couldn't hold it. Number two was the intended receiver on the play. Third down now, and they need to get it down to the 36. And this crowd is going absolutely crazy. He lets it fly. This one will fall incomplete. Just over a minute in the fourth quarter. Throws it deep. Well, you can talk about offense all you want, and they were good today, but the defense was better. They come up with a play of the day, and that'll lead to the victory. So it's time to see this offense go to work again. This defense couldn't stop them from moving the ball and inevitably finding the end zone. Tennessee is going to have to use their second time out of the half. Right. Gains around six yards on the run. They're about four yards away here on second down. And they get nice yardage on that run. The defense had a great opportunity there, and they let it go. This is an offense that's clearly working clock. They've got to get more aggressive defensively and attack the line of scrimmage to be able to slow down this offense from getting first down. And this should be a kneel down as they just try to kill the clock. From the 46-yard line, it's second down. Gets it again, and this one's going nowhere. Sometimes a play is not going to work for whatever reason. Doesn't mean you throw the play away. You just need to execute better next time. That's going to do it for this one. Our final score, Alabama 30, Tennessee 15. So what are your final thoughts on this one, Kurt? Alabama comes away with bragging rights this year, and I'm sure the fans and students will enjoy it just as much as the players. They were the better team today and added another great chapter to this rivalry. Kirk Herbstreit. This is Brad Nessler saying thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you next time.